Hey, Tubies, it's Psychic Bob here. Well, it is so good to be with you. Well, I got to come here. I know a lot of you have been writing, saying, Psychic Bob, where are you? <clears throat> Not to worry, Psyche Bob's okay. Uh, yesterday on Friday, it ended up being a very busy day. I ended up having readings literally all day at the office. And then I got home and I had phone readings at night. So I didn't even have time to get out a video. But I want to let you guys know I didn't forget you. I love you and you were on my mind. And I'm sorry I didn't get a video out. Well, here it is. It's Saturday. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to have to bear with me. I'm losing my voice today. <clears throat> I have a little bit of a cold uh, that I'm dealing with. Uh, nothing severe, just more of an annoyance, but it's taken a little bit of energy out of me. So I thought today I'd just come here. And, you know, first of all, I just want to tell you we're not going to have the seance video today. I'm just not up to it. Second Bob needs to take a little break, slow down just for a day or two, and chill out a little bit. So I know some of you have been writing me about getting on my schedule for readings and calling. I will give you a call in the next day or so. Uh, but today, Saturday, Second Bob's taking a chill day. You know, I'm always preaching to everybody, honor yourself, take care of yourself. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to honor my own advice today and take a chillax day. So um, I hope you'll forgive me. We won't have the seance tonight, uh, but we'll have that next Saturday. But I did want to at least pop in here. I thought today at least I could give you some zodiac insight, some astrological insight today. I was looking at my star chart this morning. In fact, let me put up a picture here of today's chart. I, I have a computer program and I can chart the, the planets. So here, take a look at this. So that's our chart. Now that may look a little strange to you, but I thought I'd give you a little bit of a breakdown of what all that means, okay? Uh, now today is Saturday the 14th, and today our moon is in Leo. And this is really great because Leo energy is bigger than life. Uh, a lot of you today may feel inspired to kind of put yourself out there and be seen. It's a wonderful day for making presentations, particularly if you have business presentations. It's also a wonderful day to kind of, uh, you know, have some romance. Put yourself out there, ask somebody on a date, because Leo makes people look glamorous, people feel glamorous. Wonderful, wonderful sign. Now, we also have some other wonderful, and I think it's a really good day astrologically. And I tell you, I'm getting the energy, because even though I have a cold, I feel like I'm not going to have this long. It's like today's alignments are giving me power just to push through this. Uh, we've got our moon trine Uranus. And what that means is that that's a favorable aspect. Uranus is the planet that sometimes induces flights of fancy, radical behavior, crazy zaniness. And so what this means is that the moon is trining it, means that the creative aspects are very strong today. You'll feel inspired, a little offbeat. Give in to that creative side today. Don't worry if people think you're mad. In fact, most people are going to just be as crazy as you are today. So you'll have a good day in that way. Now, we also have our moon, which is sextile Jupiter. And I love that because Jupiter is the planet of blessings and the planet of money. And this is a favorable aspect as well. So between that Leo moon and then the moon also sextiling Jupiter, this is like a great day. If you're starting a business, uh, you know, and you're doing want to close some deals, you know, you want to bring joy to people's lives. you got a vision. Really jump into it. Both feet first today. Really great. We also have our moon, trine Saturn, which is also another fascinating aspect. Because with the moon, trine Saturn, what that means is, is that, um, you know, Saturn, as I always say, it's the breaks of the zodiac. Saturn can be a good planet. You know, sometimes it stops a disaster from happening. Um, sometimes Saturn can be annoying because it also can stop progress. It's one of these planets that go kind of both ways. But today with the other alignments looking at it, this is a favorable aspect of Saturn. And so it means that things won't get out of control. As you jump into your vision, there's kind of a balance here. Saturn favorably aspect also highlights wisdom. And this means today you can trust your inner voice, your inner wisdom. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you'll be really good with that, okay? So 
it's really a very favorable day by the zodiac standards, okay? Now, tonight at around 11 o'clock, our moon is going to move into Virgo. And so what that is, is the Virgo is a wonderful energy because Virgo is all about, um, Virgo is all about uh, like order, method methodology, uh, you know, structure. So as we get into tonight, you'll find a kind of a sense of calm come over you and a sense of seeing things clearly. One of the benefits of the Virgo energy is that things just appear very clear. and They seem to have a, an order to them. So if you're working on a project and it seems kind of you hit a snare, it's a little crazy, you can't figure out how to put something together, you might want to put that aside. Then if you're up late tonight or tomorrow will be in Virgo, then you can revisit it and it'll start to make sense. So anyways, guys, there's a little bit of what's in the stars on Saturday. You know, I like to say it's all in the stars. Um, oops, hold on. Where did I put it? I lost my, I was going to show you guys my, my big Zodiac wheel. Hold on just a second. Okay, here I am. I'm finally getting organized. You know, second vibes having a little of a rough day, so be patient with me. I don't have everything in order. <laughs> I lost my zodiac wheel. Here it is. Anyways, um, so as I said, today here we are. We are in the sign of Leo. There we go. Leo the lion. Isn't that wonderful? And tonight around 11, we'll move into Virgo. So this is our transits. These are our transits for today. And... <clears throat> You know, Psychic Bob's going to just take that Leo energy. You know, Leo is said, I'm going to use it for healing, for nurturing, and just take the warmth into me today to get over this cold. So remember this, though, guys. The stars do not control us or compel us. They are allies on the journey. And when you're having a rough time, always look to the heavens because above us rotates the giant wheel of the cosmos, the wheel of the zodiac. And so if you're in a challenging time, know that the wheel of destiny is always rotating and the stars will bring new blessings to you each day. So look for the power above to be an ally on your journey and you're sure to have success. Well, guys, thanks for, for being patient with me. Uh, as I work through a very busy work schedule, and I also work on healing myself. So, you know, as they say, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. That's the way of saying if disaster doesn't strike. I'll be back here tomorrow on Sunday, and uh, we'll have something else. I don't know what we're going to do. Depends on how I feel. And uh, but anyways, we will have Saturday night seance next Saturday. Uh, but this Saturday, St. Bob's laying low, going to chillax, going to watch Netflix. <laughs> Do you guys like Netflix? I've gotten into this. La you know, blame Lady Angela. Lady Angela calls me up one day. She says, St. Bob, you've got to get Netflix. And I said, what? I said, I haven't really been into that. Well, guess what? St. Bob got Netflix. And it's a Netflix night. <laughs> so I'm going to rest, drink some tea. And just relax. And don't worry, guys. I'm okay. I'm not on my deathbed. I'm just a little under the weather. And I'm going to take care of myself. And I'll be back here tomorrow with you. Thanks for being here. I love you guys. Send you blessings. We'll see you here tomorrow. Blessed be.